Before I start this video, I'd like to make an announcement that I will be using this mic for the entirety of the intro, even though it is not on, simply because it makes me feel like what I am saying is even more important than it already is. Inflation sucks right now. The cost of groceries are going up like crazy and people are now starting to notice that a home cooked meal is costing just as much as a night out. This phenomenon is making it even more difficult to convince people that healthy eating is affordable. While I can shout from the rooftop, AKA my social media, that eating homemade, nutritious meals isn't expensive, I know that actions speak louder than words. So I am cutting my grocery bill in half this week. Truth is, I have pretty expensive taste buds and I don't mind dropping a pretty penny on wild caught fish or my soy free chocolate bars, but I am ready to start saving money. My goal with this challenge is to eat the same amount of foods that I'm already eating. So about five to six times a day, roughly 2000 calories, not sacrifice nutritional value for cost and continue making creative meals that I actually enjoy eating on half the budget. I'll be taking you grocery shopping with me so you can see the changes I'm making, and then I'll be taking you through each meal that I make this week. Breaking it down by cost per meal so you have an abundance of healthy recipes to reference when you want to do this for yourself. So let's take a look at my grocery expenses from my last shopping trip, which was two weeks ago. Keep in mind, I am shopping for two. I spent $62.16 at Publix, $92.54 at Thrive Market and $205.14 at Sam's Club for a grand total of $359.84. Because I'm wonderful at math, so I will do all of it for you, that is $179.92 per person for two weeks. So breaking it down further, that is $89.96 per week. That's not terrible but I think we can do better. So when I go grocery shopping today, my goal is to stay at or below $90 across all stores for a week's worth of groceries. That's $45 per person. And for you, that may sound like a lot. For some, that may sound like absolutely nothing. It totally depends on lifestyle, budget, what you prioritize, all those things. The problem with that though is my boyfriend eats a lot and we're both very active. So we need a lot of calories and calories are not cheap. We can't make them out of thin air. We need to buy food. This will be a challenge for sure. I normally go 10 to 14 days between shopping trips, but since I'm going out of town next week anyway, this works out. So before going, I actually looked up the total cost of everything I need. If I were to go to Sam's Club first and then Walmart, I was over my budget by $27. So naturally I had to make adjustments, but I unfortunately could not get it down to 90. But it's better to make these adjustments while I'm at home comfortable than in the middle of the store. I do not wanna be obnoxious pulling out my calculator with the cashier or in the self-checkout aisle. I'd rather get this taken care of at home. All right, let's go shopping. So we've only been in here for two minutes and we're already arguing about the list I made because he doesn't have cereal on the list and he wants cereal for when he's lazy, but I'm telling him that I'm making all of his snacks and lunches for the week, and I'm trying to explain that, and he fought with me, but I won. So <laughs> we're not getting cereal this time. It's just not on the meal plan, and it's not in the budget. No? Because no? strawberries are starting to go out of season, so but I run out of raspberries so fast. Strawberries last me a long time. These ones are okay. Okay, then go with that. We can't get orange juice this time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They didn't have these last time and I made my budget around them not having these. 6.50 for six? That's one, okay, that's one dollar and eight each. That's still cheaper than Walmart. So we are getting two packs of these. That one has a dent in it. What day is it? We have plenty of time for these. Okay, so we got a week. Cukes, we're getting there. Kale, they don't have kale here. Only one thing. Yeah, you still have some left over in the fridge. See, I'm not completely depriving you of your favorite foods yet. What about, what about granola? We have granola at home. No. It's the, I'm sorry. 
No M and M's. No M and M's. We don't never get. What about my trail mix that has M and M's? No. This is like the emptiest. Stop complaining. No pickles. You don't need pickles yeah, right now. Yeah, because you're not letting me have any fucking sandwiches. Okay, well. This is unbelievable. This is what happens. Oh my goodness. We spend too much at the grocery store. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. This is the emptiest I've ever seen our shopping cart, though. This for is real. Sad. This is like half of what we normally get. Can I get a pretzel? But then again, we are only shopping for one week as opposed to two. So that makes a difference. Wait, you scanned them all already? I'm done. Oh, quick. No way. Bias. Wait a sec. How is it already $87? What did I miss? I thought I did all the math. Ugh. We already failed. No. So it's extremely apparent that we are going over budget and there's no way to stop it. We still have to go to Walmart. Luckily, we only need a few things from Walmart, so I'm predicting that we're not gonna go too far over. I did make adjustments before and I kind of also accepted at home that it would be more than expected, but it's fine. But I'm gonna focus on driving now, so. This is all we needed at Walmart. Very small shopping cart. And Joe is getting a lunch box so he can actually take my lunches and snacks to work instead of starving himself. Easy stuff first. Bye. Select from list or key in the item's code. Okay, let's see how much I'm over. $14. Well, actually only $12. is I neglected to film every single breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack that I had this week. But the good news is I'm about to make it up to you. I thought it would be cool to show you the cost breakdown of all of my meals, but I figured it would be a little bit more valuable if I just gave you my meal plan. This is the meal plan that I created for myself going into this video. I do want to note that I didn't actually make every single meal in this meal plan because I ended up having so much food left over that I couldn't eat by the time I left for my trip. So because of that, I do think that this video overall was a success, even though I did go $12 over budget. The food I bought lasted me over a week, so it kind of evened out. I also want to point out that for certain recipes like the buckwheat pancakes, I just used things I already had in my pantry which is why I was able to cut cost. So instead of making those pancakes from scratch, having to buy all new ingredients, I just used the Kodiak cakes mix that I already had. Same thing for the waffles. I didn't go out and buy cassava flour, I just used the gluten-free flour that I already had. So yes, I attribute my success this week to writing the meal plan and having that structure, but also to swapping things out and making changes where I need to. If you want this meal plan, I'm gonna leave a link below. Let me know what food challenges you want me to try next. So far, I've eaten like Influencer Natasha Ocean, I've done the low FODMAP diet for an entire summer, and I went to the Sugar Factory and vlogged my experience. I really have fun with these videos and I hope you like them too. For those that do get their hands on the meal plan, try it out and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon while you're down there. I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend evening, morning, whenever you decide to watch this video, and I will see you later.